ministry issued a strong protest on Monday over Japan's renewed claims to South Korea's easternmost islands of Dokdo, which overshadowed budding efforts to defuse a row between the two countries over wartime history and trade. On Monday, the ministry called on Hirohi Sasoma, a senior official of the Japanese embassy in Seoul, to express regrets over the claims made by Japanese Foreign Minister Toshimitsu Motegi. In a parliamentary speech earlier in the day, Toshimitsu Motegi said that the East Sea Islands are inherently Japan's territory. Japan has claimed sovereignty over Tokyo in its annual foreign policy address to the legislature for seven consecutive years. South Korea has been in effective control of Tokyo since the Korean Peninsula's liberation from Japan's colonial rule in 1945, but Japan has claimed that the East Sea outlets are inherently its territory. Japan also held a ceremony launching an expanded territorial and sovereignty exhibition hall on Monday and going to open it to reinforce its sovereignty claims to Dokdo and other islands claimed by other countries. Following the ceremony, Seoul's foreign ministry spokesman Kim in turn criticized Motegi, saying, The government strongly protests the fact that the Japanese government, through a diplomatic speech by its foreign minister, repeated the improper claim to Dokdo, which is inherently our territory, and we urge it to immediately retract her claim. As Dokdo is clearly our inherent territory historically, geographically, and by international law, our government calls on the Japanese government to hold a futile attempt regarding Dokdo and humbly face history, he added. In a separate statement, the spokesman urged Dokdo to immediately shut down the exhibition facility. It is deeply regrettable that the Japanese government has opened an expanded facility despite our government's repeated appeals for its immediate closure, he wrote in the statement. This was Sumiyu from Korea Now.